Good morning, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for the in invitation uh, to the conference. Uh, my name is Tomasz Sobierajski and with Monika Wanke, um, we are calling from Warsaw and we would like to present you the results of the survey on medical students' knowledge uh, about antibiotic resistance. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as we all know, rapidly growing antibiotic resistance among bacterial pathogens is one of the most important medical global concerns, limiting effective treatment and leading to increased morbidity and mortality. Physicians play an essential role in limiting antimicrobial resistance due to more rational prescribing. This is why we decided to establish the study to check knowledge-based attitudes of medical students in antibiotic therapy and antibiotic resistance, which results we would like to present you today. All the results in details were published this year in the International Medical Journal. Thomas. Yeah, it's very important uh, in Poland because uh, Poland is one of the leaders among EU countries in antibiotic consumption in the community and the country with one of the highest, like you see, resistance rates among major bacterial species. In 2019, the average consumption of antibiotic for systematic use per 1,000 inhabitants per day in the community in Poland was 22 uh, point two uh, the daily defined dose compared to the um, medium in UA 18 um, daily defined uh, dose. The, our um, survey uh, was conducted in May June 2018 among medical student, students of the Medical University of Warsaw the students were divided in two groups uh, group a uh, which means um, from first to third year of the study and uh, group b from fourth to sixth year of the study um, the division was due to the fact that students in years first to third have only preclinical classes on uh, Medical University of Warsaw, and students in years from fourth to sixth have postclinical classes. And pharmacology, this is very important, pharmacology classes and the course of antibiotic therapy and the phenomenon of antibiotic resistance takes place in the fourth year of study. So the senior stu students and younger students are very important for our study and our results. Our study was based uh, on a questionnaire uh, and we were asking uh, questions. According to the respondents, three elements have the most significant influence on AMR. Firstly, doctors prescribe antibiotics too often and for 53 0.3% of the total number of respondents, it has a definitely significant impact. And the same was not noted uh, in both groups A and B. Secondly, low awareness of the dangers resulting from the antimicrobial resistance. For 94,4% of the total number of respondents, it has an impact. And for 62,5% of the total number of respondents, it has a definitely significant impact. For 94% of Group A students, it has an impact, and for 67.7% of a Group A, it has a definitely significant impact. impact. Um, the same no, we were not noted in the Group B students, so the numbers were uh, quite similar. Mm -hmm. And uh, thirdly, the misuse of antibiotics in medicine for um, almost 23 percent of the total number of respondents has an impact and for half of um, uh, all the respondents of the total number of respondents it has uh, definitely significant uh, significant impact the vast ma majority of the students uh, 22 percent 
agree that antibiotic resistance is a significant problem. Less than 8% stated it will become a problem in the future. The majority of the students, um, almost 80%, recognize that the problem of antibiotic resistance is global. In Poland, we have the National Program for Protection of Antibiotics, which is uh, based, for example, on European Antibiotic Awareness Day, and due to which you can participate in training courses on antibiotic therapy, or you can be benefit from free recommendations. We ask students about their knowledge of the program. Half of the survey students have heard about the national program uh, conducted uh, in Poland, while Group B 74,4% has heard about it much more often than Group A. So these younger students uh, heard less often about this program. Uh, one fifth of students have heard about the European Antibiotic Awareness Day campaign. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the use of antibiotics mm, uh, by uh, if, um, medical students. Almost stu uh, among students participating in our study, almost half, 46%, uh, uh, took an antibiotic in the last year. Uh, in the vast majority, almost 80, 90% of them, it was prescribed by a doctor. However, it should be noted that almost every 10th student was treated with the antibiotic remaining from the previous therapy or acquired in a pharmacy without a prescription. In a study conducted in 2016 among students of medicine, pharmacy, dental and veterinary nursing from 25 UK universities, more than one third took antibiotics during the last year. If uh, we apply such a, um, such behaviors to the general public in uh, a Eurobarometer survey conducted in 2018, one in three European uses antibi antibiotics during the last year. Mm -hmm. Based on our results, it appears that Polish medical students participating in our study are aware of the consequences of antibiotic resistance. They recognize the main reasons for antibiotic resistance as follows. The overuse and misuse of antibiotics, lack of access, uh, access to microbiological diagnosis, um, and low awareness of harmful consequences resulting from antibiotic resistance. Similar findings uh, were reported in the UK in two in 2016 on students from 25 universities. Almost all participants indicated that the misuse of antibiotics promotes the spread of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Concerns regarding the growing problem of antimicrobial resistance and the increasing threat to the effectiveness of infection treatment was also expressed by students of seven European medical universities who participated in the study conducted in 2012. A similar view was also expressed by dentistry students from all Polish medical university in our previous study, and 54% of them considered that dentists over-prescribe antibiotics in Poland. Mm -hmm. And like we mm, said before, students participating in our study were divided into groups. Mm, uh, students of, uh, f of the years 1st to 3rd and 4th to 6th. It's particularly promising that more senior students uh, from fourth to sixth less often indicated that it's appropriate to treat infections such, a, such as acute bronchitis with antibiotics. Senior students were less likely to express the opinion that antibiotics are effective in treating influenza and colds and other typical uh, viral infections. It's worrying that among, among graduating students there are still those who believe that antibiotics affect viruses. In comparison to the entire population as shown in our previous study, 
uh, 36% of respondents believe that antibiotics are effective in the treatment of the cold and as much as 49% against the influenza uh, virus. Mm -hmm. Knowledge about antibiotics gained during the studies impacts the attitudes of the studied uh, students. In the Medical University of Warsaw, study programs, seminars and lectures on antibiotics are conducted within uh, pharmacology classes. The, basis, uh, the basic issues are discussed, but without context of medical practice. As antibiotics are prescribed by doctors of every specialty, it seems that a particular emphasis should be placed on issues related to effective antibiotic uh, therapy. A reasonable justification is the example of a study conducted among final year students of medicine from 15 European countries, which showed higher accuracy of antibiotic prescription by students who participated in more training hours on prescribing antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And uh, students with a higher number of completed years of studies were significantly more likely to refuse a therapy prescribed by a doctor to them or to a family member. This is most likely due to their broader knowledge acquired during years of study. Another potential explanation for this behavior is whether the knowledge itself is sufficient and whether the denial of therapy is not due to a lack of trust in colleagues or the arrogant attitude of young doctors. As we know, in addition to the overuse and misuse of antibiotics contributing to the spread of resistance bacteria, it's important to keep sanitary conditions at a high standard especially with regards to hand hygiene. In our study, almost half of the students, 48%, indicated a low level of hand hygiene as not having a significant impact on the growth of antibiotic resistance. These responses indicate a lack of understanding of poor hand hygiene as a phenomenon cont contributing to the spread of bacterial pathogens, including resistance ones. One of the essential elements of combating antimicrobial resistance globally, recommended by the international public health organizations and scientists, is to raise awareness of the proper use of antibiotics and the consequences of their misuse. This must apply to all sections of society, with particular reference to professionals authorized to prescribe antibiotics. Mm -hmm. And at, uh, at the end, we would like to uh, say two things. First one is that future physicians should be able to graduate from medical school with the knowledge that allows them to make the right decision regarding all aspects of antibiotic therapy. And this topic should be given more priority in medical studies across EU and globally. The second one, we suggest focusing not only on the curriculum, but also on the attitudes of academic teachers responsible for passing on knowledge to future generation of doctors, which can significantly impact the trust in the medical community. Knowledge should go hand in hand with an adherence to recommendations in clinical work and actions to prevent the rise of antibiotic resistance. Thank you so much for um, your attention. Thank you.